don't be afraid to slow things down. I know when I was a new teacher, I was very afraid of doing so. There was and is a lot of pressure to keep up with calendared curriculum, to keep up with other teachers, to cover all the standards that'll be on this or that big test. Remember this. If you're rushing to cover things and your students don't understand what's going on, what have you accomplished? Sometimes kids have a lot of trouble with the idea of a group of one because really, when in real life do we call one person a group? If they don't get it, stop. Go over it again. Use examples from this lesson. Use examples with simple objects in class. Use examples with groups of one or two students in real life. In the long run, even when the pressure is on about test scores, this teaching strategy will pay off. Your students will be better prepared and more successful if they've really mastered the basics. Multiplying by ones and twos is a true basic skill. Believe in yourself. You know what's best for your student.